have a lovely lady that I'd love to introduce you to. This lady is going to come up, she's going to speak about nutrition and hormones, and she is the author of the following book, Make Over Nutrition. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Veronica Yu. Have you ever been on a diet? Please raise your hand. <laughs> of course you have. I have. Many times. There are so many diets out there. Way by chain, giant gray, ketogenic diet, pilot diet, zone diet, vegan diet. I really can't name all of them because I only got less than 20 minutes. Do they work? No. No? Actually, it works if you stick to it, especially in the beginning. Then this is my question. Why dieting doesn't work for the long term? This is what I call the diet cycle. You start the diet, either you cut the calorie or you eliminate certain food. Then right after, how do you feel? You feel deprived. When you feel deprived, you have a craving. When you have a craving, there's only two choices. You just give your craving or you fight for it. But life always something happens. There's a birthday party to go, business meeting, event, vacation. What else? Or you just die. You get burned out. Or you're bored. So what do you do? You give. That's what we call the cheat. After you cheat, you feel guilt because you broke your diet. So what do you do? Either you go back to diet, or I don't want to say you give up. You just take a break for a long time. And then you start back. Why do we get fat? It's calorie. We all know calorie. It's very simple, and it works. If you take more calorie, you burn the less calorie, what happened? You get fat. But there's another one, the hormone. There's a hormone that makes you fat. Or there's a hormone that also burns your fat. But today, I'm going to talk about the major hormone that making you fat. There's a three hormones that if one of the hormones dominates your body, it actually breaks the entire other hormone, it affects the other hormone, and what happens? It doesn't matter how much calorie you take. You used to maybe have like what? For instance, 1,500 calorie, and you start to work out, or you go out to do activity, and what happened? You got result. And then after you off, and then you go back, and you back and forth, then one point, no matter how much you do exercise, and you keep on cutting calorie, it doesn't work anymore. That's because of hormone domination. Those are three hormones. What is a hormone? Hormone is a chemical messenger. For simple way, five minutes ago when I just walked out the stage, what did I do? I questioned you. And what did you do? Either you raised your hand or you didn't. You respond. That's exactly what hormone does in your body. Their messenger. Our body remains about 50 different hormones every single day. Most of the hormone is uh, made by glands. Some of the hormone made by cells and organs. Why they do that? It's very simple. Our body always want to survive. Our body want to protect you. That's very simple. So we have a certain, uh, for instance, we need to be a certain what? Body temperature, so you don't get sick. Another one, blood sugar level. There is a certain range of blood sugar level, you have to keep that to stay healthy. That's what we call the homeostasis. 
That's exactly what body does. So that's why all those organs and some of the cell, they release the hormone and then they send the message to in the blood of the cell and tell them what to do. That's a hormone. And one of the hormones is really, really powerful. Once this hormone dominates your body, it affects other hormone. It's insulin. Insulin is a hormone that will be produced by the pancreas. Why? Insulin, there's many other jobs too, but most important is they regulate your blood sugar level. I give you a very simple example. Our blood sugar level has to be between 80 to 100. But what happens every time when you eat, especially sweet, even carbs, carbohydrate, and sugar, when you eat them, your blood sugar level goes up right away. When that happens, the body has to actually make sure that your blood sugar level is between 80 to 100. But when you actually blood sugar level go up by eating sweet, it can go up to 130 and 140. So that point, the pancreas release the insulin, and the insulin get into the bloodstream, and then they take out of the sugar to make sure that you're between 80 to 100. That's what the insulin does. But the problem is, we eat more than we're supposed to have. Once the insulin that comes out, and they make sure you regulate the blood sugar level, and the leftover sugar, what happens? is like they store it in the liver a little bit to use it later when you need it. And then left of another one, we store as a fat. So many people have insulin resistance. What is insulin resistance? Every time this guy right now is eating, like Pepsi and some hamburger, they eat that every time they eat, your body, right away, blood sugar level goes up. It's okay, but the thing is that we eat all the time. Like, we eat breakfast, and then follow by we have some snack, and then after we have another meal, and then we have another, we graze all the time. Every time you eat, your blood sugar level goes up. So what happens, you're constantly high in glucose, which is the sugar in your blood, and constantly high in insulin. So when there's so much insulin going around your body, it becomes insulin receptor, become resistance. How does it work? Simple, insulin is like a keychain. So insulin come out, they actually go into the bloodstream, there's a cell, and there's a right cell, there's a receptor. So they open the key, so then glucose, the sugar can get into the cell, so that can use it as an energy source. But when it becomes resistance, it's blocked. The sugar cannot get into the cell. Then what happens? They are starving. Cells are starving. So that's why you're hungry. That's why you have that craving. So when you do that over and over, that's the insulin resistance. You keep on eating. That happening. And if you don't fix this one, it becomes diabetes type 2. Then furthermore, if you don't fix it, it can become diabetes type 1. And then some people have diabetes type 3, which is Alzheimer. Insulin resistance in your brain. That's how it works. Just to see if you have belly fat. Do you have fatty liver? I'm talking about non alcoholic fatty liver as well. Do you have brain fog? You always, your belly is bloated and you swell. And especially after your meal, you feel sluggish. Or you, you have to sleep. You ate your meal, but you're not satisfied. You gotta have something. It doesn't matter after 30 minutes later. You have to graze something. 
that was a symptom of insulin resistance, high blood pressure, and craving for carbs and sugar all the time. Like I explained to you, cells are starving. They tell you to eat. Inflammation, one of the really the massive, this is problem. Inflammation causes all kinds of illness. And last one, nice snacking. NES, night eating syndrome, is not uncommon. So many people. You may feel hungry around dinner time. After you have dinner, after you gotta have something. You gotta have something, you have to graze something. Doesn't matter if it's healthy or non healthy. That was a symptom of insulin resistance. Now back to the next one. Cortisol. Have you ever heard the stress hormone? This is a lot. Stress hormone is actually good when you use the right way. Stress hormone is how does it work? It gives you energy. Let's say you have a physical stress, emotional stress. Actually, body doesn't know. Both of them body takes as a stress. The minute you get stressed, the adrenal gland, they release the cortisol, the stress hormone. I have a very like, short version. I went to actually hike last Sunday. And then what happened, I saw the wild bear. When I saw the wild bear, instantly, of course, my body is releasing stress hormone. I gotta run. I used all my power to win, I ran and ran. And then once I turn around, there's no more bear. <sighs> I release. Supposed to be that way. But modern society, it doesn't work that way. We constantly get stressed. We don't know how to release. Why I'm talking about the stress hormone? They work with the ratio. There's a lot of symptoms of a stress hormone as well. But the minute you bring up the stress hormone is keep on going up, what happened? Even though you don't have any sweet, your body raises the blood sugar level. When your blood sugar level goes up, what happened? Insulin comes up. That's how it works. So they work with the ratio. You don't just think, oh, I have one perfect hormone, so I'm fine. It doesn't work that way. And next one. Next the fact, making hormone is estrogen. We all think it's just a female's problem, but it's actually not. This day, we live in society, there's so much toxin. You have to make sure that you have a quality source of food. Many food that they say we eat is actually raised the estrogen hormone. And another thing, when the stress hormone goes up, thyroid hormone goes down. When thyroid hormone goes down, estrogen hormone goes up. Did you see this pattern right now? So the end, they all working together. Especially I saw the liver. Liver is the one organ that actually they do everything 24-7. They metabolize your food. They also remove the toxin. And most important, they actually metabolize the hormone. And what they do, they should convert thyroid from T4 inactive thyroid to T3 active form of thyroid. So you make sure you pamper your liver. So they work with the ratio. I'm going to show you very quickly. Those are the case study I show you. When one hormone dominates your body, what happened? Of course, it affects other hormones as well, but they also pronounce different body shape. For instance, look at the insulin. He was already taking metformin, insulin synthesizer. And, of course, it was a big belly. And the end, it affected the sex hormone. So he has a man who. 
and another one, estrogen. Estrogen dominance body type is always lower body is heavier. So that's pronounced also what hormone dominates your body. Let's go cortisol, stress hormone. This is the most people, do, especially when you get older, this is happening. When you see the person very slender, skinny arms, skinny legs, especially they don't even have a glutes, the butt. And everything the fat is back to your neck and lines around your oblique and love handle. Why? When you constantly high stress hormone, they start to chewing your muscle, especially your legs and your glutes. So what do I do if I have a hormonal imbalance? Of course you have to do diet. But not that kind of diet. You're starving. Don't count the calorie yet. The first most important, you have to do those five things, right? First, nutrition. Provide right nutrient for your body. Important macronutrient, micronutrient, all those vitamins, minerals, and what else? Herbs, plus phytonutrients, and movement. Our body is meant to move. You don't want to go to gym? Please don't go to gym. Do something that you actually enjoy and you feel great after you did. So you don't quit. You can continue doing it. Sleep and rest. Do you know why you're sleeping? Your body heals and you burn your fat. Same time. And detox. Our skin is the largest organ. Just to start from the infrared sauna at least two times a week. If you never been started like maybe 10 minutes and you walk up to 45 minutes and sweat it off regularly because we live in this toxic environment support. It's better to do with other people, support each other, so you can count on someone, so you don't give up, encourage each other. This is what I call the diet. Do you know what your diet means? When I look at the dictionary, in Latin words, it's a way of living. So that's what diet means. And before I get off the stage, I just need two minutes because this is a surprise gift time. So please come out. I invite Satin Laser Spa owner. Tommy Norman, please. Thank you. Thank you for providing this gift. Hi everyone, my name is Tammy. I own Satin Laser Spa in Port Moody. We've got a fantastic gift prize for you guys today. We've got a gift package of lipo laser, which can help you guys get ready for your show, or if you're not a bodybuilder, still fantastic. We've got a liver cleanse in here, as well as Fit and Slender to help you with your nutritional cleanse. And back to Veronica. Okay, the problem is, if you want to get the lipo laser treatment, you have to live in this town, because you cannot fly from here to get treatment, right? So please raise your hand if anyone live in this town. I will pick one person. Please. Please. Wow, you <laughs> Lady, come on. You. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Come on. Yes, please. Yeah, very good. Thank you for having me this evening. Please enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Veronica Yu.